Alrighty guys, so welcome back. This is the Benjinator. And I am Error Code. You're watching Let's Play Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy X. X. This is actually episode 20, so... Really? Yeah, we're on episode 20. How exciting is that? Benjin, you'd think so. that we would have noted episode 10, what with it being Final Fantasy X and all, but... Yeah, I think that was the moment where we were still on the motherfucking boat, so... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> motherfucking boat kind of takes precedence over... What, right, exactly. ...whatever you're on. Alright, so, uh, last time we, uh, made it past the checkpoint, and now apparently we... Thanks to the gracious, ho the graciousness of his lord Seymour, the good guy. Oh yeah, the totally good guy, <laughs> never evil. Ever. Um, he uh, Seymour. We'll talk to him first. Blah blah. Yeah, because he's you. gonna give a shit. There we are. Um, so now they're basically they have this big plan to use Sin Spawn to lure to lure Sin out and to use machines to kill him, even though it's supposedly sacrilegious. And of course, uh, Waka has his panties in a bunch because of it, which makes me happy. <laughs> so yes, it's. I, I have no issues with it. <laughs> yep. But yes, I love how these guys are just giving us free stuff. I, I, I love how they're in like fucking One Piece. What kind of run is that? <laughs> it's like excuse me. It's like weightlessness. It's how I used to run when I was in track. <laughs> there you go. Mr. Yep. Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. What is with that guy's hair? Thank you. What's with his boots? <laughs> What's with you? Leave the poor guy alone. He doesn't look that weird. I, I know. I really shouldn't give this guy a shit. He's just We're like he's basically like a, like a, like a freaking private. Way. Sorry. <laughs> like he's an intern. <laughs> yeah. He probably isn't even getting paid. Thanks, yeah. baby boomers. You dick wads. Dicks. All right. There. Yay! More stuff. All right. Yeah. So basically, basically, I'm just panhandling here. <laughs> oh. oh look, enemies. Get some new ones too. This this is clearly a well put together uh, <laughs> military operation. It's like, all right, we're about to fight Sin. It's like, should we do something about all the monsters that are clearly within our baselines? Be like, like no, uh, no, 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 just no. just uh, just let them run around for a little miss bit. Me? <laughs> no, we do not miss you, T2. <laughs> no one ever misses you. Oh yeah. So yeah, this we've seen these guys. We've seen the eyeball guy before, but this is a this is actually a different lizard. And again, the reason why I know so many about these specific different enemies in this game is because of a side quest that's going to take up a lot of your time. Yep. <laughs> it's not a particularly hard side quest, it's just... It's very time consuming. Yeah. Like, for any of you guys that are, uh, you know, Pokemon, like, veterans out there, it's not going to be that hard. Trust yeah, me. you gotta catch them all. Mm -hmm. You basically, yes, you do have to catch them all. No, not this way. That way. <laughs> I guess I'm not good at explaining. <laughs> that's okay. The guy's, that guy's very humble. Oh, it's a Waka. <laughs> sneak past the guards, I did. How? Uh, we didn't sneak past him, we just had Seymour be like, Let them by, no, no, no. I mean, granted we have a ten-foot cat person with us, but how did you sneak past them when we couldn't? Like... Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, guys, th this this uh, th this stuff is actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get... Yeah, I'm gonna get the metal shield, because that gives you an extra 5% five H five HP. Might as well get the Rod of Wisdom. Not gonna even go there. Uh, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. <laughs> um, and I guess the is that for Waka? Yeah. So we're gonna be using up a lot of uh, gonna be using up a lot of stuff. But you All right. So yeah, we got a discount. Be yeah, we got a discount on those because we gave them money earlier, which is pretty, which is actually pretty good. So uh, get some of these. We're gonna need them. Get some Phoenix down. So and if we need more stuff later, we'll sell them. It's not that huge of a deal. Hmm. No, no, no. Ugh. There's one good thing about Final Fantasy is that money is fairly easy to come by. Yeah, it's for the most part. Uh, let's talk to... Unlike some games, mm -hmm. Skyrim, looking at you. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, Skyrim's a bitch. Actually, uh, the last LP I did, uh, Saga Frontier, money's really hard to come across. So. Alright. Yeah, it's, and that's also a very non-linear, difficult game where you have to know specific things to beat it. But, uh, for you guys that may be curious about... Oh, oh, actually, never mind. Back, hold that thought. We got we got a new, um, pretty powerful enemy here. So, might look familiar, but it's uh, the Garuda is actually a little bit different. Actually, this is a veteran in, of uh, other Final Fantasy games, I believe. Um, it's kind of an updated version of the Zoo. And the XU is a essentially a giant raven that attacks you in uh, Final Fantasy VI and IV. So this is kind of an uglier version of that. Pretty good stuff. You, you guys will see a lot of enemies that are, you know, very iconic of Final Fantasy. Cough, cough, behemoth. That's much later. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of the things that people like about Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah, yeah, is that like, you know, you're playing this new game, and mm -hmm. yeah, even if there are parts of it you don't like, you, it, it still harkens back to, you know, oh, yeah. nostalgic times. Yeah, absolutely. But um, 
mean, we haven't really talked about other Final Fantasy games that much, but uh, the, the one that I like to avoid, like the plague, is Final Fantasy Two. Uh, five. Final Fantasy Five. Yeah, is, five is, is fucking obnoxious. <laughs> five is. I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad game. It just... is a bad game. It just it wasn't my cup of tea. So. One of these days I'll get that. One of these days. <laughs> one of, but not <laughs> it's today. It's not working out lately. <laughs> Is there something wrong with your controller? Like, what the fuck? No, it's, it's, I can do the other ones just fine. It's just, for some reason, that particular, with t I'm just having a very hard time. I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, I forgot that I got a Suna. A Suna heals all of status effect and, you know, you just did a, like a, a, a toil and bubble thing. Putting some of Beth in there. Alright, so let's, um, let's actually silence this guy. Oh, no. Okay, or just kill him. <laughs> when I say Good job, Waka. When I say, when <laughs> you, I say you do your ball at it. Yeah, when, when I say silence, I mean it in the way that Stalin would use the, would use the term. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back, guys. Just gotta do some uh, spearing. Alright, guys, so, um, by the way, Orin can learn guard. If you want to skip this completely, that's perfectly fine. It's not, it's not worth, it's not worth wasting an ability sphere for. So, it's, it's all good. <laughs> Oh yeah, this this part of the game is a little bit labyrinthine. I think that's the word. Serpentine. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna call it labyrinthy. Labyrinthy, yes. That works. Oh, we, we get to fight the uh, oh oh the imps, the imps. These uh these guys show up a lot in Final Fantasy games too. So we got our friend the fire elemental. Um, this I think completing the cycle. I think we've seen most of the elementals possible. Mm-hmm. So actually, could, there's a shadow elemental that you fight later. I remember. I don't think we've seen a water yet, actually. We've, um, uh, we've no, seen no, we, ice. I but... think we just saw the water one in Killika, actually. So, but I feel like there is one more. So these guys are actually pretty easy to kill. They're not that, not that hard. Of course, what do you do with the fire elemental? You use water on it. And right now, the only one that can do that is Lulu. Next. So, splash it in the face. Or oh, I'm sorry, you're supposed to use no. You were supposed to use ice on him. I'm being stupid. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought that the thing about this game was that it was all Yeah, there's just... the... <laughs> there's the elemental matching, or whatever you want to call it. And it's right. just really dumb. Alright, so let's, let's let's try to do this in style. I know that I fucked it up really badly last time, but... Alright, there we go. You have to, you have to, you have to make the, the joysticks go in circles. <laughs> Yay, I got five off. Woohoo! Not that we'll be using Lulu for a good chunk of the game, before the later half of the game, but <laughs> it's still worth it. Alright, so let's let's follow the Chocobo. No! Come back here, Chocobo! We love you! Starfish loves you! Alright. Oh, yes. Please accept this. We got ten potions. <laughs> like, why would we say no to that? <laughs> You're like, I don't need your pity! Nope. Oh, 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 Five oh. minutes later, I need pity! Somebody! <laughs> oh, look, a different lizard. This is technically a different lizard. And a different, uh... I think that's a different Basilisk, too. No, Raptor, there we go. Just hit him in the face once and it's dead. You know, the usual stuff. Or do they actually do anything? Like The, uh, which ones? Oh, hey, that one actually survived with Shopper Marm. Oh, yeah, that's... They're a stronger lizard. <laughs> right now... Oh, crap. This this is a really... That's a really sucky attack. Because, like... We got really lucky that time, folks, because they could have turned all of us to stone. And Ouch. I've just had instances where that's happened, and it's, it's really... It's very unfortunate. <laughs> Alright guys, just gonna heal up and do some spear and be right back. By the way guys, this is a very good spell, of course, it's life. But we don't have an ability sphere right now, so... Boo! Boo! So, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of keep Yuna where she is, and then she'll basically stockpile sphere levels. And, uh... But that's okay. Stockpiling sphere levels is not a bad thing. But you do want to try to level up fairly often. Okay, so we fought this battle before. Alright guys, we just had an epic battle with a uh, another one of those Garuda things, um, and uh, Ifrit fought well. You. Please proceed <laughs> that he to did. The mm -hmm. He did. Proceed to the command center. Which I, I don't think it's going to be like a command center in StarCraft, but who knows. That'd be pretty funny, actually. It would be, yes. <laughs> just Seymour there, surrounded by, like, space marines. And... Yep. Alright, so, oh, this battle again. We fought these guys before, just at a different camera angle. We'll be right back. Alright guys, fought another another magic trio. This game has a lot of magic trios. It's uh I think they're nowhere near as adorable as Doug Rio. Is great for the troops morale. Yep. Myself included. <laughs> Thank you for being here, my lady. 
you know what it is about this particular group of people? They sound like a bunch of HR reps. It's, it's weird. How did she get in here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Were we like the only, were us and the bench lady the only ones that weren't allowed in? Seriously, yeah. what possible use does she have here? Yeah, it's like she's a, she's a friggin' acolyte slash nun. <laughs> yeah. She's not gonna do much. <laughs> she didn't even give us any items, damn it. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. No problem. Oh, mushroom! So makes the, sense, we're on so, Mushroom Hill. Yeah, so these mushrooms are actually, they're annoying. You want to set these guys on fire because if you attack them and you don't kill them, they use like, they use evil um, poison dust on you. So, the best way to take care of these guys is to, uh, I guess, I guess with Kamari right now we can use this, you have to use a high potion because he can't really attack either one of those enemies. So what you want to have to do is Lulu have set, set this mushroom on fire, and that'll take care of it. Or maybe not. <laughs> Okay, yes. Physical attacks without killing it will result in evil 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 poison. So now we can now we can kill it. But you don't wanna you don't wanna do the first strike as something that's not gonna kill it, otherwise it's gonna counter attack. So that that made sense in my mind. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes. But the die you little bastard, die. Die you floating pe floating puzzle pieces. Is what they look like. Man, what kind of puzzles did you use as a kid? <laughs> Apparently the ones that were designed by Aztecs. Fair enough. <laughs> like Aztec druids or some shit. Well, why is that chocobo lying down over there? Is he hurt? Yeah, that's that's a little depressing if that's the case. That would make me very depressed. Alright, we fought this battle before. Be right back. Alright guys, beat that battle. And now here's a treasure chest. Woohoo! Woohoo! It's a high potion, which we have we have a good amount of. Depending on the way things turn out, we might suffer casualties. You think? Yes. You know, guys, we were talking about. Uh, you're like you're basically going up against Godzilla here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, why would you think otherwise? Might. Like that's 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 saying like you know you know there if this asteroid hits the Earth, there. We're uh, we're we're gonna run up and punch Superman in the dick. Somebody might get hurt. Um, <laughs> you know, we'll we'll find out. All right, guys. So in that last battle, we got a fire Moomba. Which, I, which, which for uh, Lulu, which I kind of want to see what it does. A oh, fire strike and an extra ability. Woohoo! Nice. That's that's cool. That's good stuff. By the way, those blank slots. If you guys are wondering, well, what good are they? Uh, later on, you'll be able to make use of those. And that's that. That makes the game really fun. Trust me. Trust me. It is most fun. Lady Summoner, what are you doing here? Okay, I don't even remember the names of these characters. Like that's, and I played this game at least five times. But I'm just like, oh, wh who the hell are you? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know where I am. Yeah, and these characters just they don't they don't register. There are certain like there are certain characters that definitely register. These are not some of them. Like these Crusaders, they're just kind of. Oh boy, can to give me stuff? An X potion. X potions are always awesome. And let's let's go over here. I feel like there's what I want to know is why these guys can all readily get their hands on these things, and we need to rely on them to get them. Yeah, it's like, is the, do they get like a stun? Oh wow, you guys are trying to save the world, and we're totally gonna fail at everything that we do. <laughs> well, I guess we'll randomly give you stuff instead of just giving you access to our fucking stockpile. Yeah, I know, right? It's it's rude in my, in my personal view. It's also stupid. I mean. <laughs> well, I mean, you could say that about a lot of JRPGs, though, like. Actually, I think 8-Bit Theater had a great thing on that, where, like, Black Mage went to, um, went to a, um, a magic shop, and he was like, okay, I'm gonna need a couple of Armageddons, yeah. some of this, some of that, blah, 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 <laughs> and the guy was like, great, that'll be 452 billion gil, and he was like, wait, what? <laughs> you realize I'm trying to save the world? He goes, well, yeah, I know, but, I mean, business is business. <laughs> I think Just, it was... I think it was a similar one where, um, what was it, uh, the fight where Fighter wanted to buy, like, basically the best equipment, and he's like, uh, no, this is the, uh, the first dungeon of the game, so we're gonna sell you, like, really measly crap. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's gonna, you know, not offer you any actual protection. You got another Fire Moomba. <laughs> oh, yes, we got, we got two Fire Moombas, and two are better than one. What's over here? Oh. So you've got one for each of her jugs. Yes. Yes, indeed. Indeed! Oh, actually, we... No, we want to go to that other one first. Sorry, guys. You want to go back this way. The game knows that you need them. <laughs> yeah, the game. The game. It's going all murky. The game is here. mocking me because it, need, it knows I desperately need ability spheres. So. <laughs> okay, so there. Is there anything around here? Oh yes. A serene armlet. Let's let's see what that does. So. 
Uh, so there's the metal armlet. That's defense plus. Uh, it protects against dark and berserk. Probably don't need that right now. Keep it by all means. Like this is a game where you really want to keep a lot of your equipment because you might use it at later, later, at later points. But you know, for the most part, you don't need uh, necessarily to to use everything you've got. How many times are they going to throw this trio at us? All right, guys. So here we are, Mushroom Rock Road. We're about to begin Operation Mayhem. Will we will, will we be able to get to the command center? Because it feels like forever. Find out next time in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is ben the Benjinator. And I am Error Code. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.